to my second video and today we're gonna cook something and we're making some German pretzels and I think you already know what pretzels are. I know you have them in the States as well but they're made a bit differently here in Germany so I'm gonna show you how we can make them together. And I hope you already have all your ingredients ready. If not, we can check again. You need some lukewarm milk. This is about one and a half cups. Then we need some yeast. You can usually use fresh one or dried yeast, whichever one you have. We have four cups of flour, a quarter cup of butter, it needs to be soft. Then we also have a teaspoon of sugar and a tablespoon of salt. We can already start by taking our yeast and adding it to the warm milk. We're just gonna crumble it up so there's no big lumps in it. And we're gonna add our sugar to this and mix it with a fork or whatever you have. And we're gonna leave it for 10 minutes to make sure that our yeast is alive and growing. That's why we need the sugar. And when you see bubbles on top, when the milk gets a bit bubbly, you know that the yeast is alive and grown and that's what we're waiting for. So just let it sit for a few minutes and we can come back then. All right, now our yeast looks nice and bubbly. You can see that, the milk and the yeast mixture. And now we can add it to another bigger bowl. And we can also add our flour. and our salt. And now you can mix it either way using your hands or you can also use a hand mixer or a stand mixer but I'm going to use my hands for this. Alright, now our dough is, has come together. It looks like this and it's not sticking to the bowl anymore. And now we can add our butter to it. It should be soft butter, otherwise you can't really mix it into the dough. And you just need to knead that again for another few minutes. So now I've mixed in the butter and your dough should look something like this. It's still a bit greasy, but that's okay, that's because we just added the butter. And now it needs to rise, so you can take cling foil or a damp towel, which is what I have, to cover your bowl so the dough doesn't get dry. And it's best to put it in a warm place, so maybe outside if it's sunny, or you could also put it in a room that's a bit warmer if you have that, but you cannot put it in a cool place like the fridge or something, otherwise it won't rise. And we're gonna come back in an hour. All right, now the dough has chilled for about an hour, I think, and it has at least doubled in size, looks like this now. And now we need to dust the surface with some flour, otherwise it's gonna stick to it. So we can do that. And just put the dough on there. And it's probably gonna be a bit sticky again, so you can add some more flour to the top of it. And now we need to knead the dough. And it's best to always pull it away from you and then back on top and turn it in a circle while doing that. Now it's time to shape our pretzels and in order to do that we need to take one of the dough balls and roll it into a row. And in order to get the perfect shape we need to make sure that it's a bit thicker in the middle and thinner on the ends. And you just start rolling in the middle and then slowly go to the outside like this. Once the rope is around like 20 to 25 inches long, I think, we can start shaping it and we take the two ends onto the top and then twist them around each other twice and secure the ends in the base of the pretzel. And now we have uh, this pretzel shape. If you 
maybe you want to try a different shape. There's also uh, pretzel knots we have in Germany. You again have to roll it into a long row. But this time you take the ends and just make a knot and connect the two ends. And now you have this little knot. It's also an option. Alright, and now it's time to cook our pretzels in some light. So I cut a pot and fill it about halfway with water and we need two tablespoons of baking soda. And now we need to bring that to a boil and let it boil for about 10 minutes before we add the pretzels. Okay, so this water has been boiling for a few minutes now and it's time to cook the pretzels. We need to cook them 15 seconds on each side and I use this thing, I don't know what it's called, to put them in so I don't burn my hands. Just put it in, make sure the water is still boiling and then we wait about 15 seconds, it doesn't have to be exact. Then we can take it out and put it on a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Now that the pretzels are cooked, we can add some sea salt to them. This would be the traditional way to eat the pretzels, so you can just take some and sprinkle it on top of your pretzels. But there's also a few different things you can put on there. Uh, another popular thing would be sesame seeds. So I'm gonna add them to this pretzel. And a more modern pretzel flavor would be to use cheese, which is what I'm gonna do because it's my sister's favorite. I'm just using shredded cheddar cheese and putting it on top of the pretzels. And I've already preheated my oven to around 340 degrees Fahrenheit. And they now need to bake for 25 to 30 minutes. And we can check them again in 25 minutes. Alright, so the pretzels have been in the oven for about 30 minutes and they are looking good, so we can take them out. And you can see they have this lovely dark brownish color, which is exactly what we want. And now we should probably let them cool down a bit because they're very hot right now, but then you can immediately eat them or you can wait until tomorrow, but I wouldn't wait any longer, otherwise they're gonna get them very stale. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you're gonna make some pretzels very soon and enjoy them as much as I do.